Como nos gustan los pies a nosotros. Mira, pisando están. Mira. No, ya lo han lo voy a mandar. Since you can probably figure out what happens next, we'll provide you full transparency and show you how the rest of this viral video plays out. Ey, yo. Quítate, más adelante. Quítate, Ale. Ey, yo. Ay, pero por lo menos disimulando que para allá, ve, escondido. Es un animal, es policía, pelón. To be clear, we don't know what went on inside the police cruiser, but what's crystals, what went on outside of it is suspect enough. A woman rubbing the cop's bald head, the embrace that goes on longer than one does between platonic friends, and then the disappearing act into the back seat. I mean, maybe he was taking a report, investigating, search and seizure. Look, the fact that in full uniform, this cop's behavior is even allowing our imaginations to run wild, that's conduct unbecoming. And never mind that we cannot escape the innocent sounds of children playing nearby. It's a public park. One we can speculate he's likely visited previously for more than a quick pickup game with neighborhood children. But there's something else. He's very carefree, not a worry in the world. The way people too often perform when they know they won't face any repercussions. The bystander who recorded the video told the media the cruiser started rocking and the pair was inside for some 30 to 40 minutes. The Prince George's County, Maryland Police Department put out a statement that the officer has been identified and now suspended for this encounter. Francesco Marlette is his name. The police union, though, wants to remind everyone to pay this accused officer the same due process you or I would be entitled to. Is the FOP kidding? No. Here's the statement. We ask that our officer be given the same consideration that any other person would ask for in that you reserve judgment until all the facts are known and the videos are put into context. Well, no, not until we give you more information about the history of Officer Marlette. The department confirmed Marlette is the same guy previously accused of abusing a former girlfriend's child in 2016. Now, those charges were dropped, but isn't it fair to ask right now if this guy is even fit to wear a uniform? His judgment is appalling. So here we have a cop once accused of abusing a minor and who may very well have some kind of oversexed energy that has nothing to do with his job to serve and protect. Maybe you think we should pump the brakes until we know everything. Well, I don't think so. Because here's what we do know. When you're in full uniform, with a gun, with the power to arrest and even take a life, who's to say what's consensual, what's coerced? What's in exchange for something else of value? And just so we're clear, cops who do get accused of sexual violence against women are rarely convicted, and the accused are more often higher in rank with many years on the force. The investigations when they do take place are routinely shoddy, so this incident may elicit giggles and more views than the two million plus already recorded on TikTok, but the notion that this went on in broad daylight means there's much more to shine a light on.